Hello everybody and welcome back to Worst Games Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. My name is Ben. And my name is Peter. Peter, remember they're not always necessarily, despite the name of the show, the worst games ever, but they are at the very least worse than most. That's true. It's definitely true. Um, sometimes though they're, they're definitely really actually very bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Worse than even more than most. That may be the case today. Mm -hmm. We'll find we'll find out. And uh, one person has to play the game. They being the victim, which this week is you. It is indeed, Peter, and the other person has to be the game's master, who not only selects the game, but also brings along some science facts that we can all learn from, and that is you. Oh. Oh, I want to I want to make you feel sad and sick because <laughs> today we're going to be playing Jumper Griffin Story. Oh my goodness, is that based on a film? It is based on our film. Um have you have you actually heard of this or do you, are you aware of the film? I, I think I've heard of the film but no, I have not seen it if that's no. what you were asking. Absolutely I've, not. I've definitely not seen it myself either, but uh we'll we'll get to that of course. Mm. Uh do you want to play the game? Yeah, without much further ado, let's do this thing. Let's. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! That was a bad one. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Please, master. <laughs> oh! Oh ooh. no! Lid. Why does it do that? Why does the emulator do that when you restart it? When you boot full, it changes to German. I don't know. I suppose we try again then, shall we? It's English now. It is in English. Can confirm. Can confirm that is an English word that I have seen. Was this one of the the, the Hollywood's attempts to sort of make their own Harry Potter? Whoa! Ugh. Oh, oh! Ugh. Look out! Well, wait until you hear who starred in this film. Oh, 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 oh my! Oh my God! Look at the angry. There was a man trapped in the knives. Yeah. Oh, now it's like a Bond opening. This... Oh no, it's not. Oh. Not at all. Oh. A weird fluffy explosion. <laughs> Fluff explosion. <laughs> Griffin st it's just it's a rubbish name, isn't it? <laughs> Look at the font there. Like Jumper at least is they've they've chosen a font, but Griffin yeah. story they've left in Calibri or whatever the hell. Yeah, uh, whatever <laughs> do do whatever you want with it. <laughs> yeah. Start. Would you like to No, I wouldn't. Buip. <gasps> Jumper, Griffin Story is a video game released for PS2. We and Xbox 360 in 2008. It is based on the events of the 2008 film. Oh my god. Jumper, released on February 14th, 2008. Wow. So this is based on the film, but they couldn't get footage from the film, of course. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Maybe this flashback sequence didn't happen in the because this is him younger and he's a right. grown man in the in the film. So when well, you say grown man, he is a he's he's quite clearly a cool and relatable teenager, right? Yes. A, yeah. a young ad, a young adult. A young adult, as they say. Yeah. A young adult. I, I can't. Oh my god, that's a lot of stabs. Oh, that seems too many stabs, I think. Why don't you do anything, Griffin? Well, I suppose without the stabs, we wouldn't have Griffin's story, would we? Yeah. If it had been him who got the stabs, it would have been Griffin's mum's story. There he is. Handsome. There he is. Never to appear in any other films. <laughs> my name's Griffin. And if there's one thing I hit, it's very my fault. It's people not minding their own business. What, what accent is, does he have? Oh. Oh, the animated candy bar crumbs. All I know is that the paladins want you bad, which means if I stay glued to you, sooner or later the bastards will show. Sooner or later the bastards will show. What is that guy's show. voice? I think his accent changed halfway through. Yeah, smooth operator, mate. No aphrodisiac like musty stone ruins where they fed people to lions. <laughs> what a player. What? What? On this is earth? rubbish. This is so rubbish. I that guy that... sounds like he's reading it for the first time. I don't think that was a native British speaker. 
rubbish. Maybe I'll just thin him out a bit so you and I can have a nice uninterrupted chat. <laughs> <laughs> That guy. Now that, that's a man who studied the blade right there. And here he is. Here's Griffin. That sword is way less impressive than the one he was just holding. Oh, it's glinting though in the in the light. Okay. I'd like this art style. I'm trying to... Can we get a, come a little bit closer? Oh, God, the camera. The game begins in a flashback to the night... Oh. Okay, I can... I can okay. This is Jumper. Whoa! Oh, the, it's not even really animated. He just appears later somewhere somewhere along. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. It's oh um, you jump and attack enemies from different sides. The game begins in a flashback. Surprise attack to the night that Griffin's parents were murdered. He will remember the two, a woman and her male partner for years to come. <laughs> That's weird. The gameplay begins in earnest with Griffin's encounter with David Rice at the Coliseum. David Rice being the protagonist of the film. Ah. So this boy is not even this isn't... Oh, this is Griffin, but it's not David Rice. No, is David this? Rice is actually the lead of the movie. So Griffin is... What on earth? Did you actually press a button to do that, or did he just go through it? No, I did... I've, what I did, Peter, is I filled my jump meter by killing men. Oh, I see. And, uh, yeah. and now I can... And now I can... Oh! <laughs> now I can do that. Look at these boys. Oh, my God! Oh! How are you? How are you? How are you ever meant to get hit? Do you know who I am? I'm the jumper. <laughs> and this is my story. Well, am, I, am I meant to smash down a door again here? No, yeah. Jumper is a 2008 American science fiction action film starring mm -hmm. Hayden Christensen. Sound. No. As David Rice. It's loosely based on the 1992 novel of the same name by Stephen Gold. No way. The film follows a young man capable of teleporting as he's chased by a secret society intent on killing him. I didn't realise uh, Annie Kid Skywalter was in anything else. No, I, oh, I mean... I, did I just die? Oh, no, I'm up here. I didn't press anything. I'm just here now. Oh, uh, I'm gone. Oh. oh, it's rubbish. It's so awkwardly animated, isn't it? This is... <laughs> Please let me back through. I don't want to be in... I don't want to be with the sideways Polizia car. No. Oh! That. Even was... the bodies are jumping. Whoa! Everyone... The crowd is... I can't... I, there is no... Conven Ironically, there's no conventional jump button in this game. <laughs> you can only... You can only do big dashes. Can I... Oh! Oh, oh. yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jumper. No, some... Polizia's story. This game doesn't... They didn't release it like this. It's like they made it for us. Yeah, it is. It's like, oh, this is... we really want to be on that show, Worst Games Ever. we got to get ahead of the game. <laughs> now. Now. I keep losing track of like, which one you are. Oh, I think he's blocking. He's not cowering. He's blocking my blade with his fists. God. Oh, oh. God. Oh, there's electric, electrified wires and, and fire in the Colosseum now because video game. Electricity and fire. God, that's a lot of hazards. Oh, here we go. You've got to get to the green arrows. Oh, wow. So you can aim a little Dishonored style dash button. Yeah, who did it first? Dishonored? Or oh. jumper grip. Hello? What? Am I... Are you not even allowed to actually die? Am I... It's not even electrified here, though. I thought this... I, th I assumed I'd... Where am I meant to... Just jump into it, maybe. Oh, am I jumping through there? What about that blue thing through the... What the flip? Uh, uh, uh. He's being Oh, he hurt. is taking damage. Oh, okay. The electricity just isn't showing up on the screen. That's probably no. our... But oh, there it is. I can hear it. Or he's just getting wet socks. Oh, oh it's, it's back. back now. <laughs> That's why it wouldn't let me leave the, the gravestone. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Guy just T-posed out of the sky to see you. I mean, it is your story. It is. Lest we forget. Yeah. This combat is rubbish. Yeah. I haven't even chosen the difficulty. It's not even that we're playing on easy. No, oh. just, just squeeze through there. <laughs> oh, he died. Looks like someone forgot whose story... No. Oh. Oh, my God. Fantastic. Oh, and even the tool tips. All of it again. I mean, I did turn off auto-saving, to be fair. Oh. Uh, we've got some, some notes here from, I think, from the back of the game box. 
Yeah. You know, the real selling points of this game. Mm -hmm. Experience another dimension to the film's storyline as the game follows the path of the anti-hero Griffin. Whoa! That's the name of an anti-hero. Yeah, he has got a knife. No offense to people called Griffin. Yeah. It's just not a very intimidating name. It's a lovely name. Yeah. But it's not a it's not an anti-hero name. It's a mythological creature name. It is. You might as well be called Unicorn. <laughs> Yes. That's how anti-hero he is. His name is Fairy. Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin. Jumpelstiltskin. Oh, there it is. The the notums continue. Yeah. Uh, fight your enemies in a completely new way with jump battles, where changing environments in a split second during combat is an option. Oh, good. <laughs> Who wrote this? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, not again. Um, and the final point, innovative save yourself feature, which allows players to save themselves from dying through jumping at the right moment. Oh, wow. So... I mean, it hasn't told me that yet. No, but the, <laughs> there may be some, like, QTE-based stuff where you have to just jump out of the way of something. The best thing about... Let me hear you. ...the jumper universe is that this ability... Yeah. ...is apparently a genetic ability. <laughs> So all you need is like, you know, a few different base codes in your DNA and then you can literally defy all of the laws of space, time and physics and just vanish in one place and appear in another. Yeah. Because, hey, my DNA is different. Yeah, my dad could do it, so I don't see why I can't. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's uh, it's the JCU, the, the Jumper Cinematic Universe. Sorry, yes, it is. Yeah. I like how the gate was holding back the sound of the helicopter. Yes. It was only when the gate opened that you could hear the chopper going. It's totally soundproof. You're right, though. There is a sprawling... Oh! oh is it a driving segment now? Oh! No! Oh, no, he cannot do that! <laughs> this game is brilliant. No way is that part of his ability. That's it, fantastic. He could take a whole car with him. Oh. So what are the rules then? So he can, his clothes move with him. Yeah. Cars move with him. Anything he's touching except the floor, because that would be really bad. It would. Right, not a huge deal of variety in gameplay so far. No, it's just a beat em up, isn't it, really? Or a, a knife em up. Yes, a stab em up. Uh, stab em up. I think you're right that the, the, the term uh, JCU is required because. Oh, yeah. It, it is a sprawling universe in that. There's not just Griffin's story. Who, there's who, there's more stories. Well, there's David Rice's story from the univ from the from the movie, um, right. played by Hayden, your boy. So this so I'm not Hay I'm not playing the character that Hayden played. You're not. So okay, let me get this straight. So the movie mm. did the movie follow the plot of the book loosely? Yeah, Griffin, you're gonna want to. You're going to want to pay attention to this, Griffin. Come here. It's, According it's, to Wikipedia, it loosely followed the story of the book. So this is a side story that From the movie. I'm assuming runs kind of parallel to what happened in the movie. Yeah. But yeah. this isn't Hayden Hayden Panettiere's character. From no, it's not. No. Um, so this is... Um, this is Griffin, of course. Yes. It is of his course. story, his, after all. It's his story, yes. Uh, but uh, he, in the movie, is played by Jamie Bell. Right. Um, I don't know that one. He played Tintin in The Adventures of Tintin 2011. Okay, so a voice role. Uh, yeah. Well, it was sort of a weird CG film, that one. It, he made. Yeah, I didn't watch that one. It looked upsetting. No. He was also in Fantastic Four 2015. You know, the really good oh, one. Oh, no. <laughs> Who did he play? Ben Grimm. Oh, so he played pre pre Rock Boy Rock Boy, I think. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then he was also in uh, King Kong 2005, which is the Peter Jackson one. Yeah, the good one. Yeah. Is it a good one? I think it's an all right one. It's a bit long, but yeah, it's it is all right. It's good. Okay. Um, so there we go. That's what he's been in. And then uh, right. Also, one of his top. Top roles is Jumper, 2008. Brilliant. We all love that uh, one. Hayden story. Yes. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, my. God. I, I want to do that. Let me do. I'm not even meant to go this way, apparently. Jump through it. Oh, yeah. Good point. <laughs> You're the jumper. There's jump. Oh. There's jumpers. Hello? I have to hold it. Sometimes I can tap it. Sometimes I have to hold. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> bum bum. Okay. Who's that? I think it might be Hayden. <laughs> Does he really Superman when he jumps? Does he do that? <laughs> Here's a little fun fact. Um, oh, yeah. The way in which I found out that uh, Jamie Bell reprises his role was quickly looking up a long play of this game on YouTube and checking the credits, right? Um, mm. uh, the other thing I learned when watching the credits is that some parts of the credits move at different speeds to other parts of the credits. Okay. Meaning different sections of text catch up with or fall behind each other. Right. So they're sort of racing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they don't ever overlap, oh. but yeah, it's very strange. Oh my oh, god. Oh, you've been... <gasps> it's Hayden! Or is it not? I picked up a sword! It's a boss fight. You've got to kill Anakin. Have I? Oh, that wasn't him. It looked just like the model of... I picked up a golden sword. Oh, look at that. From a statue. I'm assuming this means I do much better... Ow, damage now. Oh yeah, the magic door's open. Later, loser. It's very overwhelming, all of this flip flopping drip dropping around all over the place yeah who needs lock on right not me oh yes oh my god it's my story oh new man oh hayden this looks like a boss oh my goodness me who's this clown he looks like bald dick machinko place for gladiators to fight to the death huh? ah is that Neil Buchanan? <gasps> this is the control splat. <laughs> Try it yourself. Oh, he'll make a cannoli out of my face, apparently. Yeah. Oh, come oh. on. <laughs> if you die, how far back do you think you're going to be sent? Start of this level. Yeah. I'm using the right stick to move this cursor around, which, you know, is... Oh. Ah! <laughs> my health does fill up, though. Oh, that's good. Oh, you are knocking health off him. It's not like he's invincible. Circle move. It didn't do anything. <laughs> Please leave me alone. He just did a sick flip. In slow motion. I give it your head to Roland. Who's Roland? <laughs> I think I have enough to just just tank this now. Oh, no, maybe not. Do not get hit again. To the death, huh? What about, uh, you want to turn my face into cannoli? How about that? You always love that. You love doing that. Where are you? <laughs> Roland loves cannoli. I'm going to turn you into cannoli and then deliver you to Roland. Obi-Wan cannoli. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, he's dead too. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, loading. Please. Oh, oh, flip's sake. It's not far. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that he does that. You got me out of bed for this. <laughs> <laughs> Their quips are not good, are they? <laughs> no. It's like an episode of Quipscope. Jumper Griffin story? More like Jumper, you got me out of bed for this and story. <laughs> the special edition comes with a comes with a packet of cannoli. Mm. And a signed photo of Roland. <laughs> Whoever that guy is. Square is heavy attack, which means it's slow and you get hit. Oh god. So what you're telling me is there's a heavy attack, a light attack. An art attack. Is this the uh, Dark Souls of story games? Yes, it's the Dark Souls of Jumper Griffin story games, that's for sure. Yeah. No offense, but you're definitely no end game boss. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? You can't you can't be meta about being in a video game when you can barely be in a video game yourself. No offense, but you're definitely no end game boss. I don't understand the accents or where anyone is meant to be from. It's very confusing. Except this man. Who is perhaps Italian, who knows? <laughs> also, this door is gone, right? What more fitting place for, for yeah, two gladiators to fight, to fight to the death. Yeah, cool. Let me just see if the door's... Okay, it's just blocked. You're as boring as I remember. You're as boring as I remember? I guess that's it. Just wait until he does a, a hit and then... Yeah, a little triple attack. Or double attack, but just carefully you don't get legally served. Yeah, mainly triple attack. Yeah. This game received generally unfavorable reviews on all platforms. No, why? According to the review aggregation website, Metacritic. Before we go on to the percentages, uh, this little bit has been taken from the reception section on the Wikipedia article for this game. Um, in uh, Game Informer's short review, Who's who? Would... All squad. Who? Not a bad night's harvest. Uh, a lieutenant. Not how an English person says lieutenant, but fair enough. Yeah. So this guy is is played by an American. Then is that right? Is that? What the hell are you doing here? Yeah, his accent uh, is wrong. Yeah. Paladins, and they're gonna keep coming for you. 
paladins kill jumpers, I kill paladins. Class dismissed. Did you hear that cut in the voice over there? I did. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Is he Welsh? <laughs> Kid takes the hint. I've been a terrible host. I must host. Talk to my guest. I have only one question. I'll ask it once, politely. Where's Roland? Is he Welsh or is he Northern? He has to sort he of pick a lane. He's all over the place. Yeah, he's got no idea where he's from. Um, oh, that was one level there. You were just in different different <sighs> chapters of it, I think. That was an entire... That was just a single level. Um, oh, look, there's a flamethrower. Eighty. I killed 81 people. 81 people. Kills. God. Yeah, also, there's, there appears to only be four levels, according to the top left. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Rome, Nepal, Lab, and Tokyo. <laughs> Um, oh, dur -dur. <laughs> the Game Informer review uh, referenced the burial site of thousands of cartridges of E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Oh. You would be wise to turn back. Thanks for the heads up, Cromdom. But wisdom. Whoa. Oh my god, you can't say that. I hate, I hate Griffin. I hate Griffin. Please let me kill more men. Are you sure you don't find him a relatable and, and uh, desirable protagonist? He's horrible. Well, he is an anti-hero, Ben. Let's not forget this. Perhaps I can persuade them to seek new digs. Oh, wait. Do you have to fight the monks now? I wish... I, let me just oh. jump off and... Let me just drown myself. He's just jumping back to the land. Sorry, so they compared it to E.T., did they? The burial site of E.T. So, yeah, Game Informer compared... Uh, well, referenced the burial site of thousands of cartridges of E.T. the Extraterrestrial, widely considered one of the worst games of all time, suggesting that... To all the truck drivers out there who are transporting copies of Jumper Griffin's story to retail, please redirect your shipments to Alamogordo, New Mexico. <laughs> You'll know you are in the right location when you see thousands of ET cartridges moving out of the way to make room for your shipment. Oh, very nice. Brutal stuff there from Game Informer. Was that the most positive review? Uh, it was just the, the chosen uh, write-up that the Wikipedia page was featuring. Um, but I can give you the best and worst reviews now. Yeah, I'm ready. For, oh, I can just see your swish behind the wood. Try it yourself. So what do you think the average score for this game was? Based on three reviews, I should I hasten to add. Mm, three whole reviews, huh? I'm going to say 35. The average... Was exactly thirty-three and a third percent. Thirty-three and a third, huh? Yeah, the total was a hundred, and I divided by three. So this is okay. this is a third good. This game, right? The highest score comes from IGN, mm -hmm. who said this is the epitome of a movie tie-in hack job. <laughs> Low production values, monotonous gameplay, and lackluster visuals make this a story you can <laughs> jump past. <laughs> What did they give it as the highest score? Oh, they gave it um, forty-four percent. They gave it thirty-seven percent. That was the oh, highest review. That's bad. Um, so the lowest review comes from Games Radar, who said, "Okay, a boring, unrefined, too short brawler that you'll forget the second you eject the disc. We've already gone blank. <laughs> what were we talking about again?" <laughs> oh, Games Radar. Uh, they gave it 10. They gave it a lot of consistency across the reviews today. Uh, they gave it 30%. Oh, oh wow. That still seems too high. Yeah, it's too high, but there was only a, a range of 7%. Wow. Across the three reviews available. Absolutely dreadful. Yeah, really just the worst. Can I hit this? Oh, come on, even bad games would make that make a noise. They would, wouldn't they? Every single every single game would allow... I, I think we've played worse games ever that allow you to do things like that. I'm on him, cover me! Yeah. Cover me? Sorry, are these still monks? These guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. I like how they're using phrases like, cover me. Yes. That standard Buddhist monk phrase. It's him! Spread out! Spread out. Spread out, said the one man to himself. Get him. Oh, uh, okay. Um, when we were building this building, what we wanted to make sure is that if you wanted to get to the... For God's oh, no. sake. If you wanted to get to the upper floors, you have to kill at least 60 monks first. Can we do that? Yeah. Is that possible? Can we have that lock system, please? Oh, of course. You want the 60 dead monk lock. We can make that happen. <laughs> God, that, that clip through that... 
Oh, clipping through that corner was quite special, actually. We've not really seen something of that level. See, can I make a, it happen myself? Yeah, I can. Look at that. You can just see the <laughs> void. Oh, wow. You can also see Griffin. There he is. Gets better and better. It's his story. It is. We're just, we're just part of it. We just get to come along for the ride. Yeah. Griffin's story. Here he is. It's Griffin. <laughs> Here's some of it. <laughs> Jumper. Some of Griffin's story. <laughs> Oh, there's... See if I... Come on. Let me through. There's stuff being stored under the ground there. Can we bound... Oh, imagine. Let me through. Let me through. Oh. Let me... Let me through. Let me through. You look more through than you were. What is that down there? There's a staircase. Let me through. You're certainly a lot more through there than you were, were before, I think. But, oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. This is what we wanted. <laughs> I've had enough. True to the true to the developer's vision. This is what Hayden was hoping for in his video game adaptation. Well, I've finished with Star Wars now. Yeah. Time to move on to the next big franchise, and I'm going to own a farm, and I will never do films again. <laughs> Can't blame him. Is that what he does now? Is he is he farming? I think so. I think I heard that. I think he just sort of went for a quiet life because he was uh, unfairly sort of crucified for George Lucas's writing. Yeah, absolutely. And now we get this. Griffin story. I wish that I could just wish away my feelings. It's my favourite line from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. I haven't done Peter. I can't play uh, this anymore. Yeah, no, me too. Please. I'm over it. Please end it. I'm over it. Um, thank you, everybody, for being with us for yet another diarrhea of a video game. <laughs> he has idle animations, look. Oh, wow, look at him. There he is. Where's the head? That's what I want to know. I want the head to do like... Hello. 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 I've tried to do it, but I forgot to put the glue down. Don't tilt the page or it'll all fall off. Oh, head. <laughs> Classic. Don't forget to uh, share this with your friends. Uh, like the video and subscribe and all those things. And mm -hmm. uh, why not share it in a special place, such as the um, story, the, the, <laughs> the creative writing subreddit. Absolutely. And also the Griffin Facebook page oh, yeah. where all of the Griffins in the world can be found. All of them in one location. Hey, did you know you could get these videos two days before everyone else? Of course, Worst Games Ever is a fortnightly show. We release a new one every two weeks. And if you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash team triple jump at a certain tier, you will get access to it on a Friday instead of a Sunday like everyone else. Wow, that's very special. I it love is. it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, there we go. So consider doing that. But uh, until then, until next time, uh, when we play another terrible game, mm -hmm. uh, we'll we'll leave you with um, I don't know, just mashing the jump button again, I suppose. Uh, here we go. You ready? Yeah. See how how fast can I press the jump button in this room? <laughs> oh God, I think you did actually go through the wall there, and it put you back into the room. Let's see if I can. Amazing. Oh, the, the magic doors. Oh, it is. Well, now we've got to find out. Oh what's... God. Oh. This is a weird outro, but I'm I'm down for it. I've killed so many guys just like you. It's all a bit of a blur. Oh God! <laughs> the inconsistent accent. It's so strange. The prospect of such high caliber banter. 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 <laughs> banter. <laughs> Love what you've done with the place. Didn't realize paladins and Buddhist monks shared so much feng shui wise. Feng shui wise. Why does he move around the country twice a sentence? I don't know. Only thing that'll give me peace is when you and all your leckies are a banquet for- Le Leckies? Leckies? You may think you came here of your own free will, but your fate, I can assure you, was sealed in the womb. I see soon to be dead people. Oh, cool. Did he say- Yeah, that was a Sixth Sense reference. Do you get it? I think Roland said- I see soon to be dead people. <laughs> Roland said your fate was sealed in the womb. Oh, Christ. Oh. Well, this looks fun. I don't definitely worth ending now. Yeah, I don't want to do a jumping puzzle. I'm like, here he comes. You don't want to do a jumping puzzle, but it's jumper. Get him now! 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 Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Just kill me. I'm not going to fight it. <laughs> Your fate was sealed in the womb. The end. Right. Horrible. Okay, we we're, we're done now. Bye everybody. Bye everybody. What? You're not leaving here, Griffin. Looks like I lost a bet. Really didn't think you'd have the guts just to. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.